Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, mm -hmm, you guessed it, in the description box below. Wait, don't leave Winnie. Look at who I have. Oh my goodness. Can I tell you all, she is huge. Look at her, she is not a puppy anymore. She's still my puppy, but I love her so much. Look at how cute she is. I went to Utah for five days and oh my goodness, I missed her so much. I am so glad, I think she grew while I was gone. Hi, baby. Winnie, say hi to everybody. Look at how cute she is. Hi, baby. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Mama missed you, huh? Mm, thank you, thank you. Okay, do you wanna go? Do you wanna go? So what do I have going on for you for today? Today I'm bringing to you one of my all-time favorite dessert dishes ever. Yeah, I said dessert dishes. Back in the day, well, I'm saying back in the day like it was so long ago, we'll go with pre-COVID. I had started a series called In the Kitchen with Kathleen, and it was where my stepmom Kathleen was teaching me everything that there was to know about being in the kitchen. And that is something that I absolutely love to do, is spend time with Kathleen in the kitchen because she is such a genius when it comes to cooking and baking. And it was a really fun series that so many of you really seem to be enjoying. Well, when COVID started, obviously we had to stop it. And so this was a dish that she taught me, I wanna say probably 10 or 15 years ago, and it is my go-to dessert dish for any occasion because it is so good. It is a showstopper. It's kind of like a dump and go dessert, but it's quick, it's easy, it's budget friendly, and everybody's gonna love it. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it, and let me show you this amazing dessert dish that I think you're absolutely gonna love. My blog is up and running. I've got a few blogs posted. If you're interested in following me on this next chapter of my life and all the amazing paths that it takes me on, you can find the link to it in the description box below. This is where I get personal. Everything is personal, including this blog. Alrighty, so for this dessert that is full of what I'm gonna call deliciousness, yes, that is a new word that I am adding to the Kelly Barlow Vocabulary Dictionary. I'm gonna be using this peach pie filling slash topping that you can get by Duncan Hines. Now there are several different fruits that come in the can by Duncan Hines and there are other makers as well. So I say pick your favorite fruit in a can or slice up your own fruit if you want. But honestly, this dessert is so much better using this pie filling. You're gonna need three cans. You're also gonna need one box of vanilla cake mix. If you wanna use yellow, you can use yellow and three packets of, yep, this is instant oatmeal. Yes, instant oatmeal is the way to go for this. Don't go veering off on your own path and getting a different oatmeal. There is so much spices and seasons and sweetnessness in these packs of oatmeal. This is just what you need for the topping of this dessert. I'm gonna say that every good dessert has two ingredients. One being mm -hmm, brown sugar, love brown sugar, and the other, yes, butter. Everything is better with butter, right? You're gonna need a stick of butter. The pan that I'm using today is just this foil pan that you can get from Dollar Tree. These pans are amazing because you can reuse them. If you're gonna go to a potluck, a barbecue, you can easily use these and not be upset that you're leaving it at the barbecue. Okay, I might be a little upset because it's a really great pan and I really like to reuse these. Pretty durable, you see that? So to this, I am going to add some Nonstick cooking spray, whichever one you wanna use, you can use, this is a butter flavor, and I'm gonna give this a good coating of that. And this is where the fun begins, or the deliciousness. I'm gonna go ahead and empty out my three pie filling cans. Mm-hmm, pie filling, yum. I know somebody's gonna say that you can get a better dessert if you cut up your own fruit, and you might be able to, but really, 
This pie filling is so stinking good. I can hardly stand it. I could eat it right out of the can if I'm being honest. So this is what I'm gonna use and it's also got the filling in it. So it's sweeter, it's thicker, less work. That's the main point is there is less work. Once I've got all of my cans emptied out into this here foil pan, do you remember? I got this at the Dollar Tree. This is where the cake mix comes in. Yeah, we're not baking a cake with this cake batter. Oh, no, no. Cake batter? Cake powder? You know what I mean. We're gonna use this for the topping because I'm gonna show you how to make the best crumble topping known to man that everybody is going to die for. Now, I am not saying that this dessert is healthy by any means, but moderation, everybody, moderation. A spoonful of this dessert once in a blue moon is okay. If you eat the whole pan, yeah, probably not so healthy, but a spoonful here and there totally can indulge in it because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna empty out the whole bag onto the top of my pie filling, just like you see me here, giving it a nice even layer of cake powder batter topping. Yeah. I'm gonna call it cake mix. That's what it is, right? It's not batter, it's cake mix. Where was I at? On top of the cake mix, yeah, we're gonna add our instant oatmeal. Again, the instant oatmeal is really the best way to go. This dessert is so quick and easy because we're using all these pre-made items and you don't have to mix it up yourself. If you wanna make your own oatmeal mixture with your own favorite, I guess, sugar and spices, go for it, but Really, again, the instant oatmeal is the way to go. This is apple flavor. I think that the apple is going to pair nicely with the peach. I'm not real worried about it. Quaker Oats doesn't have a peach oatmeal. I think they have a peaches and cream, but I don't wanna use that one. I like apples and cinnamon because of the spice. And again, it's gonna take three packs. You really wanna layer it on thickly because this is gonna give us that oat topping. And so we're gonna get a nice, good, crunchy, crispy deliciousness topping that you are going to love because after we put the oatmeal on it i'm gonna go in with the brown sugar yes and we are doing another layer and we're gonna pack on that brown sugar because when that brown sugar melts down it's gonna caramelize it's gonna make all of this nice and crunchy the cake mix is actually going to turn into kind of a thinner cake topping because it's gonna pull in the moisture from the peach pie filling. I almost lost what I was gonna say there. And so you will kind of get a thin layer of cake there right underneath that oatmeal and brown sugar. I'm gonna be generous with the brown sugar because like I said, I'm gonna eat this in moderation. It's okay to indulge and the more brown sugar, the better. I'm gonna say that this here is the key to this dessert is the butter. Without the butter, this dessert is just not going to be as good because when the butter melts, it really does caramelize that brown sugar. It melts into it, it liquefies it, and then that brown sugar just kind of seeps down into the oatmeal, into the cake mix, and that's what's gonna make that crunchy crumble topping that I was talking about while the peach filling underneath is cooking. This dessert is amazing. It's so easy to do. And I guarantee you it's going to be a showstopper because everybody's gonna love it when they taste it. When we go camping, this is something that I used to make all the time and we would eat this for breakfast and all of the trailers that were in our group would come over with a plate in the morning wanting some of this peach cobbler for breakfast. Now, when I said it was gonna take one stick, I completely lied. It's gonna take one and a half to two sticks depending on how big your pan is. I needed one and a half for this one. I wanna say that this is a dump and go dessert, but really I'm not dumping it because I like it layered. But now that I've got all that yummy butter on top, I'm gonna to go ahead, I'm gonna take some foil and cover this up because we don't want the top to burn. The top is gonna to cook faster than the rest of it, so to prevent it from burning, we're just gonna cover it with some foil. This is gonna go in the oven for about 45 minutes and I'm gonna put it at about 365 to 375. After about 45 minutes, I'm gonna check on it. You can see that it's cooking nicely, but we want the top to get crunchy. We want it to crispen up a bit. So I'm gonna remove the foil and I'm gonna place it back in the oven 
at 375 for about another 15 or 20 minutes. And you can see now that we've got some nice golden brown bits on there. Once this cools, it's gonna harden up and it's gonna be delicious. I'm not gonna wait for this to cool down too much because I really enjoy eating this with some vanilla ice cream and I like it at a warmer temperature. And so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna say that it's safe now to go ahead and eat some of this without singeing my tongue or the roof of my mouth. You all have been there, right? I'm gonna give myself a nice spoonful because remember, this is moderation. It's okay in moderation. We're not eating this every day or every week, once in a while. And when it doesn't get off the spoon, mm -hmm, use your finger and then lick it off your finger because you can't waste that. To this, I'm gonna add some vanilla bean ice cream. I love vanilla bean. You wanna go with French vanilla? Go with French vanilla. Look at this. Yeah, that's the cake mix. Look at that breaded topping there without even having to make the mix itself because it absorbed all that fluid and that moisture from the peach topping. So each spoonful, you know you have to have a little bit of everything. You have to have some of the cake, you gotta have some of the peaches, the topping, some ice cream, and that makes for the perfect bite of this. Oh my goodness, I wish that you could taste this right now, but since you can't, you're just gonna have to go and make your own and see just how great this is. Tell me that dessert does not look amazing. Oh my goodness, and it's to die for. It is so scrumptious. It's quick, it's easy, it's budget friendly, and everybody's gonna love it. I guarantee you, no matter what flavor you use or what fruit you use. I hope you all enjoyed this bit of a different video that I brought you today of my favorite quick and easy dessert dish. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and the comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy everything on a budget. And you know what I'm gonna say? Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please. And bye for now. Winnie, your teeth are getting sharp. <laughs> she is biting the heck out of my fingers. Does it feel so good? She's being gentle, but oh my goodness, her teeth are really sharp. They're like razors. Baby, I love her. She's got chew toys, I'm just saying. She likes my hand though.